today. I know we have a couple birthday parties today, uh, but I won't be filming that. We also hosted a birthday party yesterday, so I have some of that stuff to still clean up. Oh my gosh, I need to throw something in the wash and I just remembered. I don't think I transferred it yesterday when I threw, oh, I might have to rewash some clothes. All right, and then I just have some general tidying up to do. I wanna, oh, I might have to meal plan today, try to get my life together for this coming week. And, oh, clean the cookbook cabinet out. I want to, um, I got a bunch of new dishes, so I wanna try to make space for them. I, there's plenty of space, it's just I'm not, utilizing it and so hopefully we can do that let's throw a load in and see if there's mildew on yesterday's load oh my word most importantly this video is sponsored woo, by kiwico you guys know i love kiwico uh so the kids are going to do their crates today before the birthday party in the evening give them something to do it'll keep them entertained and busy i man my kids love their kiwi Co crate. So let me share a little bit about KiwiCo with you. Let me move so an empty, ugly pizza box isn't behind me. <laughs> All right, better. It's like it doesn't even exist. So huge thanks to KiwiCo for sponsoring this video. Huge thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. And you guys know KiwiCo is one of my faves. Along with my kids, they love to tinker, create, and innovate with KiwiCo crates. If you don't know about KiwiCo, let me explain some more. KiwiCo makes really fun, hands-on educational projects for kids. And we have been doing KiwiCo crates for years. And the crates are always filled with amazing, fun products. They are STEAM-based, which stands for science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. So it covers all the bases. Anything your kid is into, KiwiCo has a crate for it. So it is a subscription-based crate, and it comes right to your door. And not only do they have crates depending on your kid's interests, but they also have crates depending on your kid's ages. So like even Wolfgang got a crate, yep, for the baby. They have a panda crate for him. They have a koala crate for a little older, Kiwi crate, Atlas crate, a doodle crate, yummy crate, tinker crate, Eureka crate, and a maker crate. And you can be any age to enjoy these crates. Each monthly crate is designed by experts and it's tested by kids so you know it's going to be great. It's super convenient, everything you need comes in the crate, saving you multiple trips to the store because I know in the past whenever I've done arts and crafts with the kids, it's always like, oop, forgot this, oop, don't have that, and then it never really comes out great, but with KiwiCo, it comes out amazing every time. My kids have so much fun with it, literally endless hours of fun. They spend creating and playing with the things that they have created because many crates include multiple ways to play, but not only are the crates it's fun and engaging. It's also a learning opportunity, and that's what I love about it the most. They come with step-by-step -step instructions, so it's really easy for the kids to follow on their own. But for me, it's always a chance for me to like spend time with them and do something with them, and that's why we enjoy it as a family. We all get together when the KiwiCo crates come in and have a grand old time. So if you're interested in KiwiCo, check out my link in the description box below. You can get 50% off of your first month, so that's a huge discount. My code is the wad so you can click the link get that discount and check them out and explore and create and tinker and innovate and do all the things while also having a ton of fun all right let's get into the laundry now <laughs> moment of truth over here wait they just don't even look washed oh my gosh i'm so confused they're wet but like a few on top aren't avelina they actually smell fine i'm just gonna take a risk and dry them I didn't want to take the clothes out of the dryer yesterday because we were having a bunch of people over our house and I don't know why I have to pretend like no one lives here when we have guests come over. But I didn't want to make a mess of this to switch the laundry over, so I didn't. And then here I am stuck with like questionable laundry. It actually, it smells nice. I don't know what I'm worried about. Zero mildew on that. And you know what, why I think that is? I have been putting my washing machine on sanitizer mode. I don't know. No one ever taught me like how to do laundry. No one ever taught me like how to cook either. And I, I figured that out when I went to Cordon Bleu, you know, but they don't have a school for laundry. <laughs> they might. I have to bring Avelina to the store today. She is needing some shoes. I actually need some shoes. So she wants to go to the mall and get a few things. 
but not like the fun mall with Warby Parker and Lush and William Sonoma. It's the boring mall, but it's a lot closer, so I guess it works out. I guess Nike is all the rage these days. I don't know, I'm kind of dreading it. Shoes are so expensive and I don't, ugh. with my kids at least, they have to try on like a million pairs before they find one that they like. I haven't gotten new shoes probably four years. So it's time, it's time. I mean shoes as in running shoes. And also, oh my gosh, speaking of shoes, I feel like my feet grew again when I was pregnant. So like none of my shoes in my closet fit me. It's really weird. Oh, what happened? Someone got into my cupboard. It is no longer organized, but we'll just close that and move along on our day. Okay. All right, I just grabbed these and I'm going to throw together some, uh, God, I'm feeling like a drab little crab. I don't know what to do to fix this. Are you feeling this way? Do you, have you felt this way? There's nothing like in particular. It's just as a whole, I'm just, I want to be shiny. I'm going to throw together some breakfast to make ahead because you know what I had for breakfast this morning? No, you don't know. I had leftover cookie cake that was just sitting out all night waiting to go in the garbage. But instead of throwing it in the garbage, I ate it. So there's that. I figured, well, maybe let me set myself up for success. I have these English muffins. They're like Frank's killer bread. They're really good. They have like extra protein and extra fiber. But um, I also have these eggs some homegrown eggs homegrown what's the word i don't know our neighbor has some chicken so alex bought some eggs and uh i'm gonna use them up do i have cheese do i have bacon i don't i know i know i need to go to the grocery store but let me throw these together real quick oh my gosh you guys it's so funny alex and i are talking about just america and how whatever and we're like we should just move to europe so now <laughs> And now we're like, well, maybe we can do it when, you know, Wolfgang graduates high school. And I was like, oh, is going to be like 40. <laughs> I don't know if that will happen. But uh, you know what? My family members, I don't know why it's taken me making this so hard, like cutting into these. By the way, I only get them when they're on sale because they're so dang expensive. I get them when they're like buy one, get one free. And then I get two. And anyway, it was my plan all along to make a huge batch of these. I did, however, end up, I did end up finding some leftover cheese. So I'm just gonna use the yellow cheese and then I have some bacon in the microwave. I'm gonna throw these in the toaster because like, I don't know, isn't that ne necessary? When people pre-make these and they don't toast them, I'm like, what? Ugh, no thank you, I'll pass on that. But everyone has their own thing. Anyway, where in Europe should we go? Oh, by the way, my some of my family members just came back from a trip in Europe. Some of my family members used to live there. Alex and I used to live there for a few years. And so we always talk about going back. And I really think next, maybe next summer, we'll plan a trip there. But then I'm thinking, where? Where should we go? It's still gonna be hard traveling with a whole bunch of kids, but it'll be worth it. Yeah, what happened to this one here? For like summer vacation, we normally stay pretty close and are very budget conscious when it comes to those things. So a European trip would be like, ooh, very expensive. Oh my gosh, I just cut my nail. Okay, good enough. Couple pats of butter in here for the eggs. I don't butter the muffin, but I do go a little overboard when I cook the eggs. When the butter is talking to me and it's nice and hot. Ooh, whoops. Don't tell the Food Network about that one, okay? I crack my yolks anyway. That was actually on purpose. Man, these egg crusts, what are these called, eggshells? These are so dang thick. And look at the richness of that yolk. That means these chickens are well taken care of, well fed, and these eggs are extra nutritious. I like to add some salt and pepper to mine, just keeping things real simple. I know everyone likes their eggs differently. Do you like a good folded egg in your egg muffin? I'm not a fan of a runny yolk. There we go, good enough. Still waiting on two to get out of the toaster. I'm just gonna throw some cheese on. Listen, it's a good way to use the leftover cheese. I don't particularly enjoy cheese on mine, so I might make two without. Throw the eggs on there. I like two eggs. Thank you so much, I wanna eat a meal, not a snack. And then a couple pieces of bacon for each one. A delicious. Oh my word, you guys. This is my second go of doing this voiceover. So I guess first time around, I didn't say what needed to be said. 
for some reason or another, it got deleted. So nice to see you again. This is bre- <laughs> this is breakfast, obviously. It's either one breakfast for one day for everyone or breakfast for me for a week. And uh, I don't know. I like that. It's meal prepping at its finest, a little time consuming with the egg and bacon and all that jazz. I like a good breakfast casserole. And you'll see later in the video where I meal planned making a couple of breakfast casseroles. I feel like just dump and I'm able to put veggies on there and it's easy and all that good stuff. So hopefully next week I'll be able to uh, throw some breakfast casseroles together. What's your favorite breakfast to make? Oatmeal is one of my go-tos. It's easy. It's nutritious. It is filling, at least the ones that I like. Um, I got them from Costco a while ago. They were like the warrior brand and they have seeds and I don't know, extra stuff in them. So I've clearly moved on to cleaning the kitchen. One of my favorite tasks of all time. (laughs) Uh, It just needs to be done. You know, if you're eating, you got to clean. And for me, we, well, I'd like to say that I'm cleaning because I just made breakfast, but really it's also clean up from the day before. We are always, we are forever and always having people over and we were hosting a birthday party for one of my nephews this past weekend. And so we had family members over and it was a grand old time. And uh, I just had to tidy up a few loose ends that, you know, got left over from the night before. And apparently I'm finishing up my breakfast, (laughs) okay? halfway hanging out of my mouth but that's how I eat I am a mess you are not nice to meet you what is the most difficult meal for you to eat throughout the day I find I find I don't know I feel like it's all difficult morning time afternoon dinner who am I feeding over here you know I feel like I just take oh oh my gosh I have to tell you guys I tried to track my macros for like one day And it was just too much for me to do. A handful of this, a handful of that. I'm not going to track that. But then if I don't track it, I like it's not going to be an honest review of macros. How do people do it? How do you make lunch for your kids and not just grab a handful of whatever the heck you're throwing in their lunchbox, you know, in your mouth? You know what I mean? Do people just have self-control like that and they just don't? Or do they track it? Like, do they count it with their mat? I don't know. I'm not good at counting calories or anything like that. It's just not for me. But I did try it for one day just, just to see. I have done in the past, like, what I eat in a day videos. And I go back throughout that day and track. Uh, I put it in, like, a macro, whatever. There's a website. And um, because it tells you exactly the nutrients that you're putting into your body and so I always thought that was really interesting to see where you're lacking or where you can eat more nutrients and it it literally tells you vitamins and minerals and stuff so it's very exciting and very interesting or at least I thought it was interesting so I've done that before but not on a regular basis like these people tracking their macros how much time do they have on their hands I'm sure once you get the hang of it it doesn't take much but for me I'm like oh my gosh this is I just I'm overwhelmed, <laughs> but I can clean. Okay, my so meal tenants. planning. I feel like this is a two-step process, and I am. Oh my gosh, I'm pumped! I am pumped for this coming week. Yesterday, I spent. Okay, first of all, does anyone get this update on their computer? And every single day, I select "Ask Me Tomorrow." Oh my gosh, I need to go to Target. Last night, I was putting the baby to bed, thinking about meal planning. And you guys know I have like my recipe book and the meal subscription that I, what is this? It's not Pinterest. Anyway, I was going through Pinterest, trying to find all the fun stuff, all the new, fun, interesting meal ideas. And so I actually found so many. And do you ever get like excited? You see food and you're like, yeah, I'm so excited to eat all of this. I don't have any of these recipes printed up and I have found that if I do it all on my phone or whatever, anyway, I need to print up the recipes and then I can go through and figure it all out. But for now, I have saved way more than like seven. So I need to narrow it down, pick out my favorites, think about my family as well because I'm not just feeding myself I have a crowd to please but I wanted to ask you what your favorite way of meal planning is like do you do you eat the same thing on rotation because I'm sure that's a simple thing to do we have our convenience meals like tacos and spaghetti and like you know a handful of other ones Korean beef is one of my faves 
but I might do a what's for dinner too, if I, cause these are some banging recipes. Check it, ooh, protein cookie dough? <laughs> Could be a dinner. Cajun sausage skillet, barbecue pizza, pineapple chicken. What, like what is this, turkey meatloaf with zucchini and feta cheese? Is that a joke, ground, firecracker ground chicken? I feel like I've made that before, or maybe it's on my meal plan, but what, your desktop doesn't look like that? <laughs> anyway, I found some good ones, also found some Easter recipes. Ooh, tortellini pasta salad. You guys, <gasps> brisket chili. I was telling you, one of our cousins was telling us about it. I don't have brisket, so I guess a grocery trip is in my future, but all right, I'm gonna print some of these and then we'll meal plan at our usual spot. Okay, now I'm exponentially excited. And, oh wait, hold on, I need more. Ooh, does anyone else get this excited about food or just me? So, you guys know, you know already. So I was printing out recipes and I was like, oh, okay, I'm not really gonna find. There, one recipe is like four pages. I'm like, this is so ridiculous. I don't need the nutrition facts. I don't need a page of like, explore more. No, thank you. Why are you making me print that up? And then I found some dude, what's his name? It's from Kinda Healthy Recipe, not kind of, Kinda Healthy Recipes. Mason, mm, don't know if that's his name or just someone else's name. Anyway, he had a lot of like simple 20 minute this, that, a lot of those and I was intrigued and then, well, you know, I can't contain myself. I went back to my tried and true, <laughs> my favorite gal at least. And then I was like starting to print up her recipe and I was like, it's just so pleasing to have it on one page, to not like have to sift through everything. I don't know, I really, I tried. I tried to deviate, I tried to try new things but this, I'm ju I just love the meal plan that I'm subscribed to a lot, hence that's why I am subscribed to it. There's actually one recipe that I wanna try, well, a lot, okay? Did you see how much I printed out? I don't know if I showed you. It's like a book here. It's like a whole dang book. I always get more than six or seven, and that's my downfall. So I found flank steak with chimichurri. Chimichurri hasn't always been this glam. There's a side dish that I want to try with that, so I don't know if I already printed it up. So I don't think I have, but I just want to double check before I waste the ink. Because you know ink costs more than blood. Okay, I got it. This is creamy white cheddar potato. Oh my gosh, could you imagine these two? When you said forever and always. Flank steak with chimichurri and then creamy white cheddar potatoes on the side. Oh my gosh, I'm already in a food coma. And then some recipes I overlook, you know, cause you think, ugh, chili, whatever. But brisket chili, I guess is different. And wouldn't you know it, she's got a brisket chili recipe, Tuscan chicken pasta. I know that you might be like, Whatever. I'm so pumped I haven't had Tuscan chicken pasta in a while. It's kind of like marry me chicken, but I think it's easier and better. I think it's like the same thing. Ooh, and then some older recipes that I have printed out. Ooh, we did that. We did a lot of these. Oh, but we haven't made the untidy Joseph's. Barbecue chicken sloppy joes. I call them untidy Joseph's because we're fancy around here. But it's with ground chicken. That's interesting. That could be fun for the kids maybe. Oh, and then there's a lunch recipe I wanted to try. Couple breakfast ideas. I gotta get this rolling. I gotta fix. Oh, oh, that is what I, okay. One more thing I wanted to look for. It was like a beef and bean, like a tostada, not a tostada. Ooh, this one I wanted to try. Okay, I have to go print out that one too. It's like, uh, I forgot. I'll show you. It's the best of both worlds. Rock out the show. Montana is a vibe and a half. Baked beef and bean taquitos. Ooh, does that scream lunch recipe to anyone else to you? Lunch. I can dig it. I got some breakfast, so I need to get going on a list, a grocery list of things that I need to buy myself. I got, look at my new grocery notebook. Exciting times are happening around here. I'm real pumped about this. You know, sometimes it's just nice to get fresh, fun things, 
Speaking of fresh and fun, after this, I do want to clean up my cooking cab, my cookbook cabinet. Why do I never look at my cookbooks? I try. I really do. I really do. By the way, before I get started on my meal planning, since I have a problem with... This just came in the mail and I am pumped about it, so remind me to bring this. This is a taut bath toy bin. Why was that so hard for me to say? It's like a toy storage. By the way, I found this randomly in Wentworth's backpack. It's his homework from January 24th. Am I the worst mom in the entire universe? <laughs> it's IXL, which we love. He does every night, but you know, for homework, they have him do certain specific things. And whenever he doesn't turn in his homework or like it's m end of March and I'm just now finding that, I'm like, I really need to be better. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh, speaking of, okay, are we off topic? Do you mind if I share for a moment? We were, um, you know, at someone's house the other day, a family member's house, and their neighbors came by, just their neighbor's kids to play because all our kids were playing out front. So neighborhood kids, you know, came by and were like, oh, they were asked, they thought different family member kids were there. They had never met us before. And just the most delicious, darling, kind girls were playing. And I was like, man, I feel like I really need to get there, like find, like go to their house, meet their mom, become friends with her so she can teach me how to be better. <laughs> I don't know, like teach me your ways. How are you raising such amazing children? Not that I don't think my kids are amazing. I really think my kids are extraordinary, but just like, I need that kind of support. I need that kind of encouragement. I really just need someone to tell me A, B, C, X, Y, Z. I need a handbook. I need a mommy handbook. <laughs> so has no one made one of those yet? How to be the perfect mom. I guess the perfect mom doesn't exist, so it's whatever. But uh, anyway, bath toy storage, that's a point of contention with me. Bath toys are always all over the place and we don't have a place to put them, which is why they're all over the place. And uh, so I thought this would be good, even though Oh great, this doesn't come with a suction cup. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well back to meal planning. We're trying to be 1% better than we were yesterday. Just trying to do our best around here, really. That's all I can do is my best. I never made that. Made that, made that, made that, made that. Awesome, made it. Oh, I made almost everything. Proud of myself. Hey, yeah, I made everything because I like to eat. I really like to eat food. What's your favorite meal? <laughs> what's, that's what I ask people. What's your favorite meal? And then I'll try to make it for them, you know, next time they come over. I have a very hard time figuring out my favorite meal. I'm not sure I have one. Uh, maybe I'll work on that. I don't know. I don't have favorites. I don't know who has time to like think about stuff. <laughs> think about themselves, what? I can tell you my kids' favorite meals. All right, anyway, I've moved on. And you know what I've uh, quite enjoyed doing is flipping this meal plan plastic sheet over and then just writing a few breakfast ideas a few lunch ideas and that I don't know I guess gives my brain a little boost when it's around breakfast time lunch time and I just need an idea obviously I don't write it all down like for breakfast we always have stuff to make I don't know pancakes we always have stuff to make waffles <laughs> that's a joke because um it requires the same exact ingredients to make Pancakes and waffles, maybe a couple extra with waffles, some oil, sugar, right? I, I mean, you put sugar in pink. Anyway, I digress. So I just add some ideas. Oh, bagels, that's always a good one. Yogurt for the little kids, they seem to like that. Breakfast for some people, like my oldest, she has never really been a breakfast person. I like to eat leftovers for breakfast a lot like I don't and I don't know if that's convenience or just the fact that I want salt maybe I'm dehydrated maybe we're coming to something we're coming around all right let's talk a little bit more about that later <laughs> probably not I'm just kidding I won't talk about it more hydrate purifies the soul and I love putting together a grocery list I actually need to run to the store soon to uh, gr grab some groceries for said meals. I also need, oh, Wolfgang was sleeping, but now he's awake. Sorry, buddy. I know. Okay, so I am really excited for the meals that I put together this week. So I need to run to the grocery store to get ingredients to make the meals and uh, fill my belly up, right? With good nutritious food. That's what meal planning is all about, saving money, you save 
uh, well, I don't know if you say, but you get more nutrients in your body if you plan healthier meals, which I tend to do. I feel like when I meal plan, there's more veggies involved. I eat better because, well, we don't go out to eat a lot um, unless Alex is cooking dinner and his way of cooking dinner is ordering out, which is mostly pizza. And I'm not a huge fan of pizza, but I do like this one pizza from a uh, pizzeria that we go to. And it has, it doesn't have red sauce on it. It has barbecue sauce. Yes, please. Has chicken, pineapple. Don't be fearful of the pineapple now, okay? It is good stuff. Pineapple, it also has bacon. I know that's controversial, the pineapple, but it is good. So chicken, bacon, pineapple, jalapenos, onions. That might be it. I don't know, but it is absolutely a dill-ish. It's drool-worthy. I like to eat it the next day, but also it's like, how much pizza can you eat? It doesn't really make me feel good. I just like to eat healthier meals and all that good stuff. So that's why I like to meal plan. And uh, when I don't, I just scatter around. When people ask me what's for dinner, I'm like, I don't, you know, I'll just throw something together. Just don't worry about it because I don't know yet. It's always nice to have a plan and have that one thing out of your day be taken care of. And I feel like I'm one step closer to becoming an adult when I have food figured out, right? And then for us, I feel like, I don't know, we're always feeding extra people. So it's just nice to have a plan so when I have a plan it feels good when I don't I'm like frazzled and well I don't know what we'll eat but I'll figure it out and then will I figure it out I mean I always figure it out it's food I like to eat that's all I can say I'm like Julia Child you know when someone asked her her hobby in the movie she's like I just like to eat same girl same are you the type of person who can eat the same thing on rotation every day in and out I feel like that would just make my life so much easier. And I, I, maybe I can do that. I'm not sure if the rest of my family could. But then, you know, I say that and I also like trying new things. We haven't been to a new restaurant in a really long time. Mostly because like, you know, baby and stuff. But I do like doing that, trying new restaurants. But oftentimes I go to restaurants and I'm like, I can make this at home for way cheaper. Does anyone else think of this as like a beautiful site? Have you ever seen such a beautiful... No, I don't know the words. I don't know. I gotta watch Liz and McGuire movie again. Did you know that she's in a new show, well, like newer, that's called How I Met Your Father? It's pretty good. Pretty good. I don't have much time to watch, but uh, when I do, I throw that on in the background and miss pretty much everything that's going on. All right, so here's the meal plan for the week. I'm really pumped about this one. Can you read anything? Because I certainly can't. Flank steak with chimichurri with the creamy white potatoes. You've heard me talk about it. Tuscan chicken pasta, crock pot brisket chili, barbecue chicken, untidy Joseph's, ground beef, sweet potato skillet, and then Mississippi mud pie for brownie Friday. We'll see. I don't know. It looks like this and actually I forgot to write what I need for it. Um, but I did print it out, and there's a story behind that. I'll sure it probably never. Um, Thai chili turkey stir fry, and then chicken chili Brussels sprouts. There's a lot of chili happening, but I feel like they're different kind of chili flavors. So like, you know, chili Thai, and then chicken chili is not really. It just has like sweet chili sauce in it. I don't know. So I think it. I think it's going to be a good week for food, and I'm actually hungry right now, but I'm not gonna make anything because I'm just really thirsty, and you gotta hydrate. It purifies the soul. In here, the cabinets. Oh, so if you saw my haul, you saw that I got a lot of new dishes, and I need space for them. I have a ton of space. I'm just not utilizing it correctly. All of these cookbooks here, and then what's in the back? Oh my gosh, are those more cookbooks? There's more. I see a box back here. I don't know what it's. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Oh man, this is the coolest. I think it's stuff that I got for Christmas and then put it up here, forgot that I had it and never put it out. So I'm gonna have to save this, put it with the rest of the arts and crafts and put it out next year for Christmas. It's like DIY ornaments, so they're cute. So I need to tackle the rest of this. I have a ton of cookbooks. So this is all loose leaf. It fell out of my recipe book that I don't really look at, but I like to keep these recipes. Should I go through them? Yeah, but will I? No, I won't. 
this cookbook, I don't know, I flipped through when I first got it and like marked a bunch of pages, but ask me how many recipes that I've made from this cookbook. Zero. You know how you, you know, follow people online and they're like, oh my gosh, I got this new cookbook and that's incredible. And so, you know, it was on sale on Amazon. I was like, okay, like a pizza frittata. Like, yeah, sure, why not? But, you know, I've never made it. Ooh, donuts, yes, please. Ooh, roasted veggie pasta salad. I just haven't got around to it. So things like that. I actually really enjoy my cookbook selection, but I am gonna go through it and see. And then I have some more like Christmas cards. I didn't even send all of those out. I'm the worst. And then up here, a ton of cookie cutters and stuff. I actually don't really know what's back there. And then a bunch of platters that I do grab, um, but I don't grab all of them. So I'm gonna go through those too. I do feel like, first of all, I'm excited that I finally got to this cabinet because it has kind of been my Achilles heel. So that really top cabinet, it's hard to reach. It's not very accessible. I have a lot of other spaces in my kitchen that require more of my attention, obviously, because, you know, we access them more often. But this cabinet, had, ooh, it had a lot of surprises in here. I will say I found a silicone mold, like a heart mold, and I thought I had decluttered that when we moved, honestly, so I was surprised to see that. I found a bag of candy. What else did I find that was interesting? I don't remember. Something that Meredith was playing with. Oh, right, right, right. You'll see in a second. But lately, I have been, I don't know, having a little bit of an identity crisis. I'm looking at my hair and I'm like, ugh, girl, I don't, I just don't even know what to do with that. I could have put it in a braid, could have put it in a bun, could have done anything. That's what I found and I was shocked to find it, honestly. I was like, what the heck is this doing up here? Apparently, this is our dumping ground. We just don't know what to do with things. We throw it up here. Why not, right? If something's a mess, it will continue to be a mess and people will think, oh, that's a mess. Let me just throw it there, right? But if it's organized, hopefully... People won't think that way. I don't know. Question mark, question mark, right? That um, bubble wand, that was fun. It was a good old time for Meredith this afternoon. She played with that thing more than I ever thought she would. So money well spent. I don't know where it came from. I certainly didn't buy it. Those things are ridiculous. I uh, also found some batteries. And uh, oh my gosh, the candy cane full of M&Ms. Don't ask me what Christmas that's from. I don't think it was this past Christmas. <laughs> But it was sealed, so maybe it's still good. I don't know. And then um, this is where all my platters are. So for our get-togethers, I like to have extra platters and stuff. You know, when we're serving food, sometimes people bring food over and they ask, oh, hey, do you have a dish or a bowl or whatever? So I like to put, I well, the goal was to put it all in the same spot. So, you know, I have a spot for all my hosting stuff. And typically people have like sideboards in their dining room to put this kind of thing there but I don't have a sideboard I don't think I'm gonna buy one either because you know I'm still thinking about redoing my dining room it takes me a while you guys to do things mostly because I overthink it and then I don't know I just haven't ordered a dining room table yet but I was looking at a dining room table and a sideboard and I just don't think I'm gonna do it I'm like I don't I don't think I need to have extra cabinet space to just store stuff that I already have space for you know what I mean I don't know I'll think about it some more <laughs> and I might change my mind. But what prompted me to get all the same color platters was that, oh my gosh. Okay, so years and years ago, right after Alex and I got married, we were invited to a uh, one of our friend's houses. I don't know if they were hosting Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter. It was one of the holidays, right? So we went over to their house for dinner and she hosted this just extravagant, beautiful dinner. And I mean, this woman was literally woman across the room status, perfection. Martha Stewart would be in awe of this woman. And I certainly was anyway. Okay. My brand new fresh eyes. I didn't know anything about anything, right? Not much has changed, but honestly, nothing back then. And I just remember she had all matching um, dining wear. And I just, I mean, obviously it was Christmas and she had her life established. She's, I don't know, probably 20 years my senior, whatever. But I was, looked up to her and just thought, oh my gosh, one day, right? So is this one day coming to fruition for me? I'm not sure, but I do feel like I am one step in the right direction. Not that I am, uh, that's my goal or anything, because I do like bright colored things and, you know, mismatched. That happens probably more, more than not, but anyway 1% better than yesterday I don't know I fail every day so 
that's just it that's it okay that's just it <laughs> okay i'm pleasantly surprised at how this turned out i had to figure out all the um cookbook situations I feel like double stacking was the right way to go. I added all of the new dishes that I got. It's just great. I can, I know where they are. Mostly they're for entertaining, so I don't need them down with the rest of my stuff. I need to find a spot for this, but I think I'm gonna put it down here and I need to get a couple bins. Um, I'm, I plan on getting a bin for my water bottles too, just to help them stand up straight. And then on the other side, I'll throw the utensils. And then I have to wash these. I haven't washed these big ones yet. I just had to unwrap them. Uh, and then I will put those in like the drawers down here with the bowls. And I need to reorganize this too. I, or, listen, there's a spot for everything, but my kids don't exactly know where those spots are. So when they put stuff away, it's just kind of like, let's find a spot where the drawer will close. And honestly, it's just nice that they unload the dishwasher. They will learn as we live here. And then I ended up thinking, well, do I need to keep these Food Network magazines? They would be nice. These are from like 1990. Not really, so, oh, 2021. They're not as old as I thought. Maybe some of them are much older. 2015, okay, I knew I had some gems in there. So I figured every recipe I use is mostly online anyway, so I don't know. I have like a love-hate relationship with recipe books. I love flipping through them but I also like scrolling online too, so I enjoy both, I guess, but I use more online recipes than anything else. Other things down here that need to be picked up are some batteries. You guys saw I found a lot of candy. This needs to go in like arts and crafts. Found some Thanksgiving crafts that I just, you know, again, I put away in a special place, which should never really happen. Oh, and I'm going to declutter this too, because it just, it has a lid, it's so bulky, and I rarely use it. I feel like maybe I used it last year for Thanksgiving, but also there's a possibility that I didn't. Okay, let's uh, ditch that before the kids come home and rave on some candy. But while I'm close to the pantry, I figured I would just uh, pop on in here. And I think I have a lot of empty boxes to be thrown away. And this has gotten really cluttered the past like week. I don't know what happens in this place. You know, you know what happens? People and food. Hungry people come in here and they just are a bunch of savages. And okay, we have about 75 cereal boxes. No one wants to eat whatever cereal that we have. And really the only person who eats cereal is Wentworth. And then sometimes I do. So some of them are empty, but some of them have got to be expired because they've been in here forever. Corn, oh, cornflakes. We got these, actually, we got these for a meatloaf recipe. Oh, I should put make meatloaf. Can I put cornflakes in the freezer so they don't go back? The, my aunt, she came to visit and she made us meatloaf one night and it's one of my all-time favorite meals. It's the first time I had meatloaf was at her house when I was like a teenager and I said, what is this amazing meal? I had no idea meatloaf was so delicious. Why does it get a bad rep? Anyway, her secret ingredient, cornflakes. Actually not, cornflake crumbs, but apparently they don't sell those in the South. She's from the North. I don't know, okay? Maybe you have them near you. I, I do not have them near me. This huge box of Cheerios is almost empty and I'm gonna guess it's like real old and bad. I guess the easiest way to test it out is just to take a bite. Honey Nut Cheerios. Yeah, those are not good. It could also be the fact that when I was in elementary school, one time I got like a stomach bug or something and I just threw up a whole bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios and I just can't eat them ever since. Plus, there's something weird about cereal. Right? I, maybe it's all the fake, all the fortified, all the chemicals. I don't know, but it has a certain smell. I'm, it's not for me. Not for me. Really enjoyed these. Has this become a cereal review? Got these from Costco. We're almost out of it. I just eat them like as a snack. I'm gonna say these probably went bad too, but they're almost empty. Still good. Amazing. Amazing. They have zero sugar. Mm. You know, I meant to make Rice Krispie treats one day. Not good and just never, never got around to it, okay? I do my best, but most days I fall short. Oh, Valentine's Day, bye. Ooh, Golden Grahams. What did I, what did I make with these? I remember making something. These are almost empty too. That was during the holidays, so I know that's old. Okay, that just cleared up so much space. That's what I needed. These marshmallows are literally hard. It's always nice to tidy up the pantry. 
before you go grocery shopping. So one, you can see what you have, and then two, you can see what you need. And we need some bagels. We need to clean. Here, check this out. Oh yeah, you think uh, you are a mess? Yeah, it's not true, you're not a mess. I'm a mess, okay? And you know what happens is Meredith thinks that this is like, I don't know, a treat or chocolate or something, which technically it is, but then she like tries to open it and uh, you know, kids and all that good stuff. So I'm going to try to get salvage whatever I can and then vacuum the rest. Will I vacuum the rest and TBD? Spoiler alert, I did not vacuum the rest. Actually, am I talking to the camera and I just sped this part up? Whatever I said, probably didn't, wasn't important anyway, right? Well, by the way, <laughs> as I say that, thanks for hanging out with me for so long. I appreciate your company. I wasn't sure, you know, every time I start filming, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to film. And then this, I just film my day, you know? And sometimes it's more exciting than others. And this afternoon wasn't too exciting, but we did end up going to the mall. So that was kind of exciting slash, I mean, who, I mean, the mall, it's like pros and cons, you know, but Avelina did need some sh kicks. So we were happy to go. There's that box of oatmeal warrior. If you can see it on there, if you can read speed read, because I certainly couldn't. Um, but this pantry definitely needed my attention. It's just like upkeep of the house, you know, a mother's touch. I, people come in here, oh gosh, countless times every single day, every hour. And the pantry's always open. I'm not one of those moms who's like, oh no, 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 wait, wait, unless it's dinner time. Then I say, wait for dinner. But all throughout the day, it is open for snacking. I don't know. I, I just, I grew up eating and always wanting snacks. Like I am someone who grazes all day. And if I don't get food, I get hangry. So I don't want to do that to my kids. Like if you're hungry, please eat, you know? So I know some people are pretty strict about, you know, routine and eat at a certain time. Snack time is this time and whatever, but I'm not like that. I'm like, if you're hungry, you just go ahead and help yourself because I got other things to do, you know? Anyway, I don't know what that was all about, but the pantry certainly turned out a lot nicer than what it looked before. And that's the goal. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. And that's how I live my life. Good enough is as good as a feast. And it certainly looks like I could have one in this pantry. There's a JC Penney. We're at the mall. What's your favorite spot in the mall? You know what mine is? It's right here. Aunt Annie's, Auntie Anne's. So good. We finally made it to the shoe store. We've actually been to a couple by now, but um, I, she, while she's trying on shoes, I'm looking to see if they have any I like, and I honestly am just so overwhelmed by all of the options. Oh, look, they have Brooks. I don't know. <laughs> I know I need new shoes. I don't know if I'll be walking out with any of my own today. I definitely did not walk out with a pair of my own shoes, but my day will come. I'm just happy that Avelina found a pair of shoes, and my goodness, are shoes expensive even when I get them from Amazon these days they're expensive I get Wentworth's shoes from Amazon because he's like simple and I know his shoe size and he's not picky anyway moving on to the birthday party that we went to later that evening yes 89 we are celebrating a family member who's turning 89 and it was such a lovely time just getting together with family and you know just chatting with them and celebrating with them and I just thought this setup was so cute so I just decided to grab a little clip of it for you. And then um, we were out in their yard. They have such a beautiful yard. And Meredith was being really cute. So I thought I'd share this little snippet with you. Oh my goodness, they are. What? Yeah, come look. Oh my gosh, it does, Meredith. Come look at the flower. Hey. Well, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. Don't forget to check out KiwiCo. My link is in the description box below to get 50% off of your first month. Use my code THEWADS. I know your kids are going to love it. Wolfgang loves all of his toys. Meredith 
has been having a hoot and a holler with her scavenger hunt and that little thing we put together. Oh my gosh, it's just so much fun. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what box you get for your kids. I'm interested to know. But I will see you next time. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.